Hey, happy, happy, beautiful night. Dr. Bob Rakowski here. Uh, today's CNN headline news, snake venom is something they're going to use for an experimental drug. Isn't that interesting? Nature really gives us everything we need. I really don't know why they need to do tweak these molecules, which are horrifically toxic, and then try to get them to sick people and help them get better. Uh, but that's really, really nothing new in, in the drug industry. Uh, other data that I researched a while back showed that 2,000 years ago, there was evidence that they actually used stingray venom as a form of dental anesthesia. That might have been a little smarter. I think a little ice uh, might be a better idea. But what's the lesson here? Nature gives us so many incredible molecules. So when you look at this idea of an antiplatelet, understand that the drugs prevent clotting, but they promote abnormal bleeding. So when people are on these drugs, there's about a one in nine statistical risk of a major bleeding episode. I had a patient in the other day, drew blood and it just kept bleeding and bleeding and bleeding. I said, dude, you better be careful not to bump your head. Uh, reality is he had a stroke and so maybe they were justified in doing something like that. But a really phenomenal combination of omega-3s, yeah, we can create a uh, blood which flows better and clots uh, with less, or, or it takes more aggravation, I should say, to clot it. And then one of my favorite herbs, Ganoderma, is actually shown to have what's called fibrinolytic proteases that are proven for a, a body weight like mine, 250 milligrams would prevent clotting even with a really, really toxic uh, burden. So we want to keep the body healthy. We want to prevent abnormal clotting, certainly by staying healthy, but we don't want that risk of abnormal bleeding. I'm Dr. Bob Rakowski, knowing that we can all be happy.